hydroponics ended after Nexus security forcibly removed protesters, resulting in numerous injuries. Tensions reached a boiling point after protesters complained their families were being kept in stasis in favor of sleepers with political connections. This is HNS. Hello again. They're waiting for you. Careful. Of course you approve. Ryder saved your people. Ryder saved our people. It doesn't matter if they were Salarians. They were citizens of the Initiative. But it doesn't hurt if there's a few less Krogan around, does it? <clears throat> the Pathfinder. Ryder, we were discussing how things ended with the Archon. Kesh, it's true I had to leave some Krogan behind. I'm sorry about that. You've already done your part for us. That's more than I can say for others. Yet I have to question what we gained, provoking the Archon like this. He had a map showing the location of Meridian. Now we have it, and a short window to get there. It's the control center for the terraforming network. If we get that working, all our problems are solved. Based on what data? This is all alien science. The vault on Aya suggests that Meridian is the key. While I appreciate what you've done for our strike teams, we're not equipped for a war with the Cat. They'll be defending Meridian with everything they've got. If we do nothing, I guarantee there's a fight coming. The Archon's already studying how to exalt us. It's not pretty. Still, it's better to focus on the outposts. If the Cat attack, at least our people won't be in one place. Then there's this Sam of yours. We took a chance letting AI get involved. Frankly, I'm uncomfortable with just how involved it's become. I'm grateful, Ryder, but I can't support your plan. Then I will. And so will I. Ryder deserves a chance to try. I applaud the gesture, but you answer to me. I hope you understand. What's the matter, Tan? Don't want anyone else overshadowing you? It's not called the Pathfinder Initiative. The chain of command has to be respected. That is all. Why am I surprised? I don't exactly have a plan B. There may be a way. Pathfinder, apologies. There was an urgent message for you. They said your brother is awake. What? Go. We'll talk later, in the tech lab. God. Sarah. What? Afraid I'm contagious? No, afraid of the patented Scott Ryder headlock. Not today. I'm just glad to be alive. Well, I sure missed having you around. We've hit a few rough patches along the way. I'm sorry I wasn't there when Dad died. No one could have saved him, Scott. I wasn't even sure I should tell you. I'm glad you did. That would have been a hell of a thing to wake up to. I'll miss him. But right about now, he'd be telling us to stop moaning and get on with it. There's no shortage of things to do. Yeah, I hear you're the great and honorable Madam Pathfinder. Please, it's nothing like that. Well, then I guess I'll give you a free pass on telling me we found home. Uh... I'm only your little brother by one minute. You don't have to go easy on me. As soon as I get my gear, well... Be careful. No way are you fit for duty, sir. You need a chance to mend. Yeah, says who? The Pathfinder, that's who. Time to rest up. That's an order, Specialist Rider. 
<sighs> Pulling rank already. Better hope I never tell anyone about that year you only ate paste. Was it first grade or second? You can keep talking if you'd like. Just no arm wrestling. Ryder, this is Pathfinder Reka. We have a plan for Meridian. Please come by the tech lab as soon as you can. Will do. Hey. You feeling out of the loop, I imagine? A little, though I've heard bits and pieces of things from Harry and the med techs. Sounds pretty serious. Just the fate of the entire initiative. Every man, woman, child, and everything in between facing certain extinction. The usual. Oh. Well, I'm sure the Pathfinder manual covers that. <laughs> yeah. We'll have it wrapped by lunch. There's a race of aliens called the Cat. They're led by a scary nutjob named Archon who wants to turn all of us into them. We both want Meridian, which is the heart of an alien terraforming network we're trying to activate. We do that, maybe we live. Look at my big sister being all proactive. Meanwhile, I'm mastering the art of peeing in a plastic jar. You should also know, Dad was keeping some secrets from us. Like what? Turns out Sam is even smarter than anyone knew. And Dad juiced his connection to Sam. It's a lot more powerful than other Pathfinders. So is mine. I guess rank has its privileges. What was Dad up to? Dad encrypted some of his memories in Sam. I've started unlocking them. What were they? You and I were there. So was Mom. You actually saw her? It was at the hospital the day she died. And that reunion dinner she wanted us at so badly. Right. Dad was his usual talkative self. But there was something else. I saw Dad talk with a benefactor in the Milky Way. Some initiative bigwig I'd never heard of. That's news to me. Yeah. I'm still hoping I can figure out what it all means. I thought maybe we could talk about Mom and Dad. Sure. What about them? Thought you might want to know how Dad died. I was going to ask you. Habitat 7. There was this alien terraforming machine that had us stranded. Dad figured it out and shut it down. That saved us our ass. Then, all hell broke loose. My helmet got smashed. I couldn't breathe. I was suffocating. Then Dad gave me his helmet. He sacrificed himself? Only one of us could make it, and he didn't hesitate. He was a hero. All those stories about him being an N7, kicking ass in the military. I always thought they were exaggerating. You should have seen him in action, taking out Ket left and right. It was amazing. Huh. Dad, the badass one-man army. Pretty good way to remember him. You still think about Mom? Yeah. Especially now. I wonder what she'd say if she could see us. Dad talked about her before we went on our first mission. Really? After she died, Dad seemed to shut down. He hadn't talked about her in years. He loved her. I think he was just lost. We all were. What do you remember about how they met? Well, she was in the Alliance, researching early biotic implants. That's about the time she met Dad. He was on Earth for N7 training, I think. He says he swooped in and swept her off her feet. Had a whole bad boy in uniform vibe that was irresistible. Dad? I guess it worked. They got married. Then the first contact war started, and he was sent off to fight. After that, we were born, and Dad was posted to the Citadel as an attaché. What do you remember about growing up on the Citadel? Big space station chock full of all sorts of aliens. Scary at first, but pretty soon I was playing laser tag with Turian and Salarian kids. Looking back on it, maybe that's why I'm here. The Citadel showed me life has no limit on possibilities. It made me ask, what else is out there? What do you remember about Mom's biotic research? Mostly that it's the thing that finally killed her. Biotics were an unknown back then. 
So were the dangers. All sorts of rare diseases hit people working around Izo. Mom was trying to design implants to help people harness their abilities. She was a pioneer. And she actually gave it to him. Feeling homesick at all? Still trying to get my sea legs, but I think about what might have been if everything hadn't gotten screwed up. What do you think would be different? Well, while you were looking for Prothean artifacts, I was standing watch over a Mass Effect relay. Hell of a thing to stare at every day. I'd dream about what was on the other side, the adventures I would have, the things I would accomplish. But when everything got screwed up, well, I guess I'll never know. Screwed up how? To start with Mom dying. I never cried so hard. And Dad? He was never the same after that. He put so much into Sam to save her, but... Well, AI's as illegal as it gets in the Milky Way. After the Alliance kicked him out for it, everything changed. Suddenly, being Alec Ryder's kid was a black mark. You and I were never going to live that down. Well, I'll let you take it easy then. Yeah, you wouldn't believe how slammed I am. Got a nap, then doze a bit, then try to catch up on sleep. It'll get better. Not before you find that Meridian. I want in. I'll take pictures. Ryder, good to see you. We've been working with Dr. Aradana and her team on the problem of getting to Meridian. We think we have the answer. I'm listening. It's plans for new technology we've designated Ghost Storm. When you approach Meridian, our own ships can broadcast fake returns for the Tempest. The Ket won't know which one is real. It will confuse their sensors and draw their ships off. It could buy you some time. Sounds like this has never been tested. What if it doesn't work? You're clever. You'll figure something out. This means going against the initiative. We're on our own. You didn't hear that. Hear what? We've been collating gamma charts all day. Occupational hazard. Part of being a Pathfinder. Sure, if they'd pay us once in a while. Not likely after this. You'll need to research the Ghost Storm technology first. Then we'll meet you at Meridian. Good luck. Largely because Ket technology appears mimetic, taking designs from different sources to improve their own. It is a familiar pattern. Observe, conquer, incorporate. I cannot speculate, Professor. We should anticipate the cat learning from and incorporating initiative technology as well. 